Assalamu alaikum. This is Brother Clifton Raheem Bradley. You know what? From out of Chicago. And I got my co-host, Brother David Cox. This is a live television show. Okay. And I got a star is born. Did y'all know I got a movie star, an independent actor with me? Hell, he even has his own agent. You can you sit back. Am I live? Yes, you're live. Don't do it. Don't do it. (laughs) Okay. And David, please make a quick introduction of yourself, please. Go ahead. Go ahead with the co-host. Okay. I don't know what I don't know what's going on. Can y'all let David come in? But the thing is, David's all right. I was just uh, listening. Okay. Okay. You know what? Um, Please, I got Mr. Dow. Tell us, brother, you are impeccable. You are, I'm, a, you are, I'm you are, a lot of things, but impeccable is not yeah, one of them. You know, okay, maybe I used the wrong word. And you know what? You are awesome actor. He's an independent actor. And I got the opportunity to meet him, and I was just flabbergasted because I've always admired. That's me. I've always admired actors. Please tell us about yourself. Who are you? What's your name? Well, my name... <laughs> Is John McDonald. Okay. M C D O N N E L L. Okay. And I'm an actor. I've been an actor for a long time. I um, up and down career. Uh, I do a lot of independent films, but you you will see me in the background of Chicago PD, Chicago Fire, Med, uh, Empire, whatever comes into Chicago, you'll see me there somewhere. And y'all know what. But I do a lot of stage plays. In fact, I do one stage play a year. I just finished uh-huh. uh, Christmas Chaos. Yeah, is uh, in uh, out in Elgin. Mm-hmm. It was a good role. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got to play a. Uh, uh, I got to play uh, uh, kind of uh, a writer, kind of eccentric writer. I gotta ask you. Go ahead, ask I'm me. I'm gonna start at your beginning. Start at my First beginning. First of all. You did start back at the real beginning, but the thing is, what acting school did you go at? What 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 inspired you to become an actor? I know you acted in high school and you have training. If you can elaborate on it, I appreciate that. Well, I, you know, I started off with my my older sister. Mm-hmm. See, uh, my older sister, she was going to high school. She was going to Immaculata mm-hmm. High School in those days. It's not there anymore, but. She uh, was taking some kind of uh, arts yeah. appreciation class, and uh, the mm-hmm. teacher said, uh, "Well, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be directing the the school play this year, mm-hmm. and it's going to be the King and I, and I'm going to need a lot of kids. So uh, if you will go home and uh, bring uh, your brothers and sisters down to the audition, uh, I'll bump your grade. So if you're going to get a C, I'll give you a C plus." If you're going to get a B, I'll give you a B plus, and you know, so on. Mm-hmm. So my older sister dragged me down there, and I went on, and, and I was good. Mm-hmm. You know what? I got to tell people, before this broadcast is over, I got to ask him about what happened in Ho- with the Hollywood with Will Smith and Chris Rock. And that infamous slap, but I got to keep on, though, but I got to ask him that. But we're going to get to that. But <laughs> and you know what? In, you were, tra- you were, what college? I went to Northwestern. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I went to Northwestern. In fact, I was there with, uh, did you ever watch Seinfeld? Yeah. You know the girl on Seinfeld? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, uh, Elaine? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. That, that was uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus. Mm-hmm. So we did a show together at Northwestern. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did, uh, what do we do? Um, the Philadelphia Story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and 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 uh, wait, Denzel was Denzel Denzel Washington was in Philadelphia Story, wasn't? Was he? It? I, I don't know. I'm I guessing. don't know. I have to look around. Oh, okay. No, this was a stage play at oh. Northwestern University okay. we did together years ago. Mm-hmm. Years ago, and I also did. You know, um, oh, Margie Helgenberger. No, dude. Margie Helgenberger was uh, on uh, the uh, the Miami uh, the different Miami uh, um, shows where she was a cop. Mm-hmm. She was a police officer, mm-hmm. and she's very good. She mm-hmm. uh, she did um, Streetcar Named Desire. You know, you can tell when somebody's going to be good. Mm-hmm. There, there, there's just something about them. And also, Clancy Brown was in that. Clancy Brown. What did she? What did that person? What did she play? Who? Clancy Brown. Yeah. What does she play? Yeah. Clancy's a guy. Oh, okay, guy. What He's a big guy. He's what, six. What role? Six. He's like. 
you know, he, he was in all the, the, what do you call the movies with the guys with the kilts on? Mm -hmm. What do you call those? Uh, kilts? Yeah, kilts, you know, the Scottish people, the warriors, and mm -hmm. he was in all those. You know, he's good. Go I, I got to ask you this, man, because you know what? I got to ask. Have you ever played in a movie with Denzel Washington? I think Denzel Washington is. He's this. very good. No, Have you ever played in a No, no, I've never been in with Denzel. He doesn't call me. I'm sitting at home. <laughs> I'm right by the phone. Nothing happens. I don't know he why. He could call your agent. He could call my agent. Sure, <laughs> okay. sure. I asked you that. But you know Susan what? Susan Sherman from Ambassador Talent. Okay, so David, is David back or David is gone? David's okay. gone out for the okay. count. But you know what? David can call in, but you know what? My qu my question is, is being an actor, there are a lot of people out there. You have an agent. Yeah, I have an agent. And a lot of people wonder, where do I get an agent? And how can you tell whether the agent is scrupulous or... Scrupulous I, or not. Yeah, I, yeah a lot I, of times, it, it, you know, you're, you're going on Facebook or whatever and it says, oh, come on down now because uh, you could become a big star and all you got to do is audition for us. And, mm -hmm. you know, and then you get there and they're like, uh, oh, you have to have these photographs. We, get, we have our own photographer and that's going to cost you $600. And then, and then we want to train you ourselves so that you're going to go, then that's going to cost you $600. And it all adds up, and it's a lot of a hooey. These people, I'm not naming names so I can say, these people move from city to city to city and take innocent people's money. You go into the phone book, they're all listed in the phone book. Or, or, or SAG, or after SAG is Screen Actors Guild, Actor, uh, AFTRA is American Federation of Television and, and um, Television, AFTRA, Television and Radio Artists. I knew they were somebody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just call them up. They'll give you all the, the, um, the different agents that are out there. Sounds like you're satisfied with your agent. You're satisfied. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I've never been married, so I guess I have never been satisfied. With your agent, you satisfied? <laughs> well, I'm not married to my agent. I'm not married to my agent. I was talking about your actor's agent. So what What was my first film? No, I'm, what was it? What Tell was my first film? Tell me. Broken But Beautiful. Broken But Beautiful. And that was, that was directed by Aaron Dooley. Mm -hmm. Aaron Dooley, really a sweetheart of a girl. Uh, it's, it, you can find it on YouTube and Tubi or whatever else is out there. Uh, broken but beautiful, and I played a um, a gay guy. Yeah, I played a gay guy, and I'm not gay, mm -hmm. and that was so hard to do. And that was my first film, you know, and I didn't want to look stupid. So the person that I had to play off of was also straight. So the two of us were straight. Something I realized: straight guys do not look each other in the face. Mm -hmm. We we look around, you know. We yeah yeah that football game that was yeah I liked it. Mm -hmm. But but if you're in love with somebody, you know, like it's a woman, you look them right in the eye mm -hmm. and you talk to them one on one. Took me a while to figure that out. Let me ask you when you when you when you say that you play the role of a gay, I want to ask you what 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 is your opinion about David Chappelle? David Chappelle sort of quit Hollywood because they said he would not put on a dress. David Chappelle. Is David Chappelle, yes, he wouldn't put on a dress. No, no. But you know well, what? You he know, still I, he still has risen back though. But he just said, "What do you think about when actors make?" Uh, conscientious decision to do things like that. They go, you against, know what? They go against their morals. We're just people. We are just people. Yeah, yeah, we're not uh, anything special. We're just regular folk. Mm -hmm. You know, and if he feels a little odd about wearing a... The, uh, the Greeks, mm -hmm. you know, when uh, drama started, everybody wore a dress. Mm -hmm. Whether you were a woman or a man, it didn't make any difference. Mm -hmm. Men were playing women. It was like... And the, and the English have a long tradition of women being men and men being women. It's, 
Not a big deal. What do you think about Tyler Perry? I, you know what I love when he plays Madea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's funnier than hell. <laughs> he's funnier than hell. He's got all the movements down. He's funnier than hell. But the, my gay guy was not, you couldn't tell he was gay by looking at him. Mm -hmm. You know, he wasn't, he wasn't overly gay. Mm -hmm. Because what, most people aren't. Mm -hmm. Most well, people aren't. Well, now, well, you know what I heard? You, we had talked and discussed something, and you said you didn't want to really be in the actors' guild because you can't. It's, when you're in the actors' guild, there's there's independent jobs that you cannot do. Is that? Can you elaborate on it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I was talking about was the SAG after, SAG after union. I'm all for unions. But if you're just starting out, uh, you can you can get your your a break, and that was it for the year. Mm -hmm. That is it for the lifetime. But you joined the union, you paid your dues, and every quarter you pay more dues. So don't be in a rush to join the union. That's all I'm saying. Do you want to join the union? If you have a steady income coming in, you want to join the union because the union looks out for you. There's nobody going to be stepping on you mm -hmm. because the union will complain. Mm -hmm. So that's when you want to join. You as being an actor, do you audition anymore? Because there's I some, there's some actors that say, you not, know what, those days surprised. over. There. You'd be surprised, but not everybody knows me. Okay. Not everybody knows me. I mean, I'm infamous, but not everybody knows mm -hmm. me. There are some people that are still finding out, so I do have to audition. Oh, you do? Yeah, have... I do have to do, audition. What, what do you think? Some actors say they will not audition. Them. What do you think about that? Well, if you're really well known, uh, you, the, like a lot of times I don't have to audition. People just call me on the phone and say, John, are you busy? Can I, can I, can I get you for February? Can I get you for March? Mm -hmm. Can I get you for June? I just, like I said, I just finished, a, I do one stage play a year. I just did uh, Christmas Chaos okay. at Elgin. Mm -hmm. But uh, currently I'm in, uh, oh, I got a good one coming out. Uh, it's with... Um, uh, uh, Debbie Sue Goodman. Okay. Yeah, it's a Sarah Faulkner, Tommy, Tommy Sigmund production at, in which I play a, um, uh, well, Debbie Sue Goodman plays herself. She's a, a stand-up comic. I don't know if you've heard, heard of her, heard seen about. her stuff. Anyhow, she plays around. And uh, so here's this beautiful girl, stand-up comic, and uh, she just did a gig. And uh, she's, uh, you know, she's getting all the adulation, and she uh, she needs to go to the bathroom. And uh, she goes into the first door she sees, but it's a, uh, it's where I'm washing dishes. Mm. So I'm a dishwasher in there, and I'm washing dishes, and I look over at her, and she knocks a. I'm not going to tell you the whole story, mm. but as it turns out, years ago. Mm -hmm. I knew her. Mm -hmm. I knew her. We tell people, people are, this is a live television show on the telephone number. There may be somebody that cannot see. Okay, the telephone number is 312-738-1845. And, you know, I want to ask, I'm very interested. Have you ever won an Oscar? And this is a follow-up question. I stole uh, one you, once. Uh, yeah, uh, I was at the pawn shop, uh, and then was just sitting there, and I said, <laughs> "Look at that, elephants!" <laughs> and I just kind of walked off with, it. "No, no, I'm not, I've never won it." Okay, have you ever? I've gotten best actor. Uh, I've got, let's see, I well, had well, international uh, uh, path of egress. Okay. One international uh, acclaim. It, it was a claim in uh, Dublin, Ireland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a uh, um, European acclaim. And uh, I've, done, I've I've gotten comedy. It's hard to believe, isn't it, that I, I would uh, that I got comedy? But I do comedy. Okay. You have been to the? Have you ever been to the Oscars? No, I haven't. I've got friends who have been to the Oscars. Okay. I have friends that have been to the Oscars, and sometimes I will ask them how was it, and they'll say, "Well, they were a little light on the drinks, but other than that, it was it was fun." My question about the uh, the Oscars. Do you think that when they're voting on things like best movies and best, the best actor of the year, do you think that the right people are casting ballots for these people? Do you think that it should be more included? I'm not going to say that. Do you think that they're, they're doing the procedure right? 
in terms of when they choose the best picture, you know, and, and you have to be in the, I think the Actors Guild to choose, like Whoopi Goldberg is in there and all that. Yeah. Really. What do you think about the procedure? Does it need to be changed? Whoopi Goldberg is a fine actress. Oh my God, she's so good. Mm -hmm. But I was talking about the selection process. The selection process. What do, you, what do you think about the selection well, process? Well, you could select. You could select. That's right. All you have to do is apply. All you have to do is apply. And then you have to see every single movie that comes out. Mm -hmm. And you have to make a little synopsis. Not everybody wants to do that. Okay. You know, there are thousands of movies. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> every week you got to do it. It's, you know. Mm -hmm. I want to, you know Dean what. Dean Richards does it. I want to ask you about um, Will Smith, but I want them to play Will some. Smith. Play it. If there was an incident that happened with Chris Rock and uh, Will Smith, but I would like for them to play that, and I want to get your response. Oh, sure. From that. You don't so want to hear are... about Dream Boyd, Go The on. Adventures of Jim Powers? That's coming out. And, and The Bad Hand, that's a Sarah Faulkner shoot. That's coming out. And um, let's see, who else? I got lots of people. Washed Up, that's going to be, well, that's the one I was just talking to you about. Mm -hmm. Washed Up. And then I have uh, uh, Unlikely Friends. You can oh. find that out there. Okay. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. Okay. I play a bum. Oh, wow. Play uh, you know what I saw? It, I saw it. Did and you, you know see what, it? Yeah. What'd you okay. think? So what they, I thought it was great. So they're going to play this um, Chris Rock thing. I want to okay. get your response. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses... He can't win! <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord! Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep your wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. No! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> oh, I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Oh, but, <laughs> you know what? In, um, this, I thought, was staged until I really, really thought about it. What was your initial reaction? Because I don't even usually look at the Oscars. I don't. But this one got my attention. What was your initial reaction? I know, I know these are your peers and your contemporaries, but what was your initial reaction to what happened with Will Smith hitting Chris Rock like that? <laughs> well, you, you have to understand, Chris Rock is a stand-up comic. Mm -hmm. That is a real tough job. You got to come up with ideas. You got to be in front of the audience. You and and especially at the Oscars, where all oh, these people are all sharp cookies, mm -hmm. and you have to be funny and everything. Will Smith is a very good actor, but I'll tell you, actors wear their hearts on their sleeve. Wow! They wear their hearts on their sleeve, and that just it just it just fried him. It just fried him. He had to do something, and he went up there. And I don't even know that he had in his mind that that's what he was going to do. But he got there, his adrenaline was pumping, and did you see that swing? Yeah. He smacked him like it was... Chris Rock took it. <laughs> he mm -hmm. took it. He didn't know what he was going to do with it, but he took it. And he knows he's got to go on. He's on stage. <laughs> And Will Smith went back to his seat. Keep, keep, your, keep my wife's name out of your... He didn't have to do all of that. He didn't have to do all of that. I, you know, I'd love to work with Will Smith, but 
He didn't have to go all, all that way. He was just, the, the adrenaline was pumping and he couldn't shut it off. Mm -hmm. my, my question is to you that do you feel that the Oscars, the, the people in, at the Oscars handled it in the right way by letting Will Smith sit there to yes. accept that they handled it in the right way? Yes, yes. They, 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 have to, <laughs> they have to let him sit there because he's a guest. He's up for an Oscar. And 50 million people are watching. They can't, you know, bring in the ushers and escort Will Smith out. So they did handle it the correct way. They let it lie mm -hmm. and then sanctioned him after the fact. He deserved to be sanctioned from the Oscars for ten years. He deserved. It. Well, I don't know. That's a long. That's a long time. To, okay. That's a long time. You know, uh, in a career, that's a long time. You know, if we're not working, people forget about us. Mm -hmm. it, this is the last question in regards to that. Do you feel your intuition tells you at some point that um, Chris Rock was going to bring litigation? against um, Will Smith for um, battery, humi assault, battery. humiliating him at some point. Humiliating him? And no, no, he handled it well. You watch that. Uh, Chris Rock handled it well. He's not going to sue because he's a comedian. He's a comedian. And why are we talking about it now? It's good publicity. <laughs> Even bad things that happen to you, it's good publicity. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's not going to, he's not so Well, nobody. you know, I read reports to where he went to a law firm. He thought about it. And, you know. I'm sure people were, were telling him mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, this is a live show, so you know what. And what, what, are, what are some of your upcoming projects and what type of recommendations would you have for new actors? Well, I've got a, um, I've got a like I said, uh, uh, Washed Up is going to come out at the end of February. Mm -hmm. and that should be good. And uh, um, The Adventures of uh, Jim Powers, that's a Dre Boyd uh, production. Mm -hmm. And we're hoping that comes out as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm shooting one this Sunday. Uh, you can all come down. No, 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 don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> shooting one this Sunday. It's, uh, what's it going to be called? Oh, Talk Over Tea. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a concept one. You, you, you know, Seinfeld, they didn't really have anything that they were going to, what it's all about. What is that program all about? Mm -hmm. Except people would come in out of the blue. Kramer would come in. Uh, Elaine would come in. Everybody had an idea. Well, this is sort of a concept about that. Okay. So um, I, that's as, as much as I can tell you because we still have to hawk it to the producers in California. Mm -hmm. And you know what, I, I listened to something Denzel Washington said, and I wanted to know if that applied to you. He said, but while he was coming up he, to become an actor, he volunteered to do all of, any, any acting job he took because he said, I was honing my craft. Yeah. Did you do the same thing similar to Denzel Washington? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, in many respects, I didn't have to. I, I got lucky. Uh, I did a, a show... Uh, at um, the uh, uh, TCF Theater First it was the largest community theater in Chicago. They, they, they played out the Anthenium Theater, and uh, one of the shows that I auditioned for was uh, The Hostage by Brendan Bean. So opening night, who comes backstage to congratulate me? Who? You. Who? That actor's name. What's his name? Um... Who's the guy? Indiana Jones. Oh, Indiana. You talk about um, Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and uh, John Malkovich. Okay. They both come backstage to congratulate me. Wow. Now this was a long time ago, a long time ago, and uh, I don't know these guys from Dirt. They are not big names, mm -hmm. and they come back and they congratulate me. Well, of course, I'm. Yeah, I'm elated. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. They both auditioned for the part that I got, and uh, they were, you know, ecstatic that I did so well in it. Mm -hmm. And then they invited me to go out to California. Five minutes. Uh, five minutes to go to California. It takes a lot longer than that. So I ran out, and I said to myself, that guy is nuts. Harrison Ford, tall drink of water. Yeah, I don't know him from, you know, nobody. And John Malkovich is what he 
looks like on, on the screen. He's, mm -hmm. He looks nuts. So I didn't do it. They didn't do well when they first went out, but later on, they caught on. Oh, wow. You know what? This, this guy, this guy, he's a great actor, and the thing is, I got to get him on my podcast. I had some technical problems, but I got to get him on my podcast. But I'll tell y'all about that later on. I got to ask you, we got like three minutes left, and my question, is there a specific message that you would like to relay? to the people that I didn't give you the opportunity to uh, disseminate. Well, come see me. <laughs> come see me. I'm not, I'm not a bad actor. I'm very good. If you come and see me, I'm very natural. Um, I, I, I wasn't always natural. I was, when I started out, I was very shy. So if you're a shy person, if this is what you got to do, mm -hmm. don't let anything stop mm -hmm. you. Don't yeah. let anything stop you. Just keep pushing. Mm -hmm. But if you could do something else, become a doctor, become a lawyer, become a, a host, anything, <laughs> do something else. Mm -hmm. And you know, I want to thank you for accepting the invitation. I'm sorry about the technical problems, the difficulties that we had with <laughs> um, the podcast. Yeah, and not a problem. And you know what I want to say? We didn't get your co-host in here at all. No, I don't. He had no questions. Did we get any phone calls? I don't, I don't get none. No they, phone they, calls. They were, they were intensely listening. Hey, I'm single. Yeah. I am available. So, you know, mm -hmm. just call in. And mm -hmm. We'll work it out. And I want to thank everybody for looking at the Underground Railroad. And I want to thank my instructors at Kennedy King College in Chicago because you know what? Um, I have learned more at Kennedy King College. I really thought I knew something about video production. And I found out there's more to being a videographer than just pulling the camera out. Yeah. And shooting. So I want to yeah. thank my instructors. But I got to tell them something. But y'all killing me with the homework. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. They're killing me with the Oh, uh, Vince, the punctual vagrant. Mm -hmm. That's my buddy, uh, uh, Mike Green. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, uh, I, I didn't write down the address, but that's, that's coming up. You can all come mm -hmm. see it. Vince, the punctual vagrant. Mm -hmm. And you know what? This is a fabulous actor. What's your agent's name, if you want to see this? Susan. Susan what? Susan A. Sherman. Okay. And you know what? Uh, having an agent opposed to you can represent yourself, man, you, you got you got to have an agent. You got to have somebody that's well connected. Somebody, do you agree? Well, I'm a, I'm a founding father of the Chicago Actors Studio. Did oh, you know that? No, I didn't know yes, that. Ed, got, Ed, we, Fogel, we, we got, Ed Fogel owns it. But that, if, you're, if you don't know the first thing about acting, that's a good place to go. Yeah. We, Chicago Actors Studio. It's on Elston Avenue, Elston and we, Ashland. We got somebody named Brian and Audrey Kay. They, they have actors coming in. I'm going to introduce you to him. You know, he's an act. He, they, they have a great show called the Audrey Kay Show. But you're looking at the Underground Railroad television show, but we, uh, we usually come on every Saturday night at 10.30 p.m. This will be on YouTube. Cool. So press the like button, the share button. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. Thank you, my brother. You know what? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. You know, because I'm a good guy. I'm all right. No, you good.